Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, my opening statement here is just very clear. This is a very difficult game. Uh, whether you're the home or away team uh, means a lot to a lot of people. I think it's our responsibility to be in the game, to be the most prepared, hard-playing, organized group we can be. And, uh, you know, I thought we had a good week of practice, and I thought our team in the first half uh, really had some great segments, maybe our best stretch of the year defensively. And uh, we had quite a bit of good offense going as well. That was indicative of the halftime score. Uh, we knew that UC would come out and uh, never quit. Nobody in this game ever does. Crowd was awesome. I thought their defensive energy and just the way they played the final 20 minutes, you know, says a lot about their team and coach. You know, they fought to the end and really gave themselves a chance to win when you're down 17 at the half. I think the other part for us is the second half is indicative of who we are, and that is we have to be a team that really believes on the defensive end of the, of the court. We have enough confidence on offense that I think sometimes we play the game willing to trade baskets, and that was our mentality. And uh, I thought the 16 points in the first four minutes of the second half, that's how much they scored. So they scored 16 in the first four minutes of the second half. They had 24 in the first half. Was We gave them hope. We gave them confidence. And from that point on, uh, we were in one heck of a game. Thrilled to have won it. I think on our end, we have some lessons that we can learn. And uh, glad that we can learn those lessons with the victory. Sean, can you walk us through the the end of the game sequence there and sort of your your team's late game execution. How would you sort of describe the the finishing sequences? On offense, our late game execution was excellent. You know, Colby Jones really did a great job in a series that we have making the pass, scoring the ball. You know, he he can do so many things uh, defensively. I thought I thought his defense on Landers Nolly was one of the reasons that we won. Colby is a terrific defensive player. So he's giving you that, and then his playmaking almost saved us. I thought Sule wore down a little bit, understandably so. But uh, Colby did a really good job. And then on the last play, you know, putting the ball in Sule's hands is what we need to do because he's such a great free throw shooter. And, uh, you know, I thought the final play, it was very similar to Indiana. Indiana, we missed it. Tonight we got fouled and made free throws. But to get a strong drive right at the rim is what you want. And uh, I thought it was a great sign for our team that we didn't panic. Sean, when you went and got Sule to bring him to Xavier and be on your team, was this kind of what you pictured this would be like from him? Well, we knew he was very gifted on offense. You know, a lot of people, I think, categorize him as an off-the-ball player. Uh, we gave him the opportunity to play on the ball. And, you know, I just think that the way the game is today, you can't have enough players out there that can score and make a shot. I mean, the days of that, uh, probably a guy like me, you know, pass first, point guard, set it up for the big guys, all that, those days are over. You know, I think you want firepower from your backcourt. And, uh, you know, Sule has been – He's been a godsend for us. He really has. If you think about the 10 non-conference games he's played in, and this is when he should still be finding himself, who he's played against, and you look at his statistics, he's a heck of a player for our team. Sean, there's like this narrative that uh, this you know, rivalry has maybe lost a little luster, at least in the lead up, but uh, that was a pretty doggone good game and environment out there. just want to get your yeah. thoughts coming back to it. I mean, if it's lost luster, it's news to me. It felt like the same old, hard, difficult game. You know, look, Wes, Wes Miller is building their program, and uh, you can see it when you scout him. You can see it by the players that he's recruiting. You can see it from what he did prior to coming to Cincinnati. And uh, he's building it, and, you know, on our end, we're trying to do the same thing and, and move towards the, the top of the Big East where we were in 2018. So I think you have two programs trying to do the same thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I think the fans have a lot to be proud of and I think a lot of hope here as we move forward. Uh, Coach, in total, just about 25 minutes played from your bench tonight. Uh, was that the game plan to go with a short rotation tonight? 
No. I thought the other lesson that we learned, and I talked to our team after the game, uh, we have to get more from our bench. I have no doubt we're capable of getting more. You know, I thought Dez Claude in the first half, Jerome Hunter through the game really helped us. But, you know, part of why I think our defense disintegrated was we wore down. Between their pressure, their subbing, the crowd, you know, we kind of limped to the finish line. And, and look, one of the reasons is that I didn't sub. But in all games as the coach, you have to play to win. And I thought the way this felt, I tried to make decisions about tonight. But moving forward, we have to be able to get more from our bench. I thought a couple guys came in the game and tried to do certain things that, quite frankly, we're not asking them to do. And it backfires in a game like this. And uh, But it's a great learning opportunity. When we played West Virginia, the final four minutes of the game, we won it 11-2. to two. That was a great learning opportunity. And I thought tonight, for all of us, it's we have to do a better job with our depth. Thank you. Talk about uh, Victor Lockman's performance, 7-9, 16 points, 8 rebounds. Just talk about what you were able to see from him on tape coming into this one and his thoughts on and your thoughts on his performance today. Yeah, Victor is an improving player. Um, you know, we had a lot of respect for him. He's a double-figure scorer coming in the game. You know, I don't want to say warned our big guys, but our big guys had a very healthy level of respect for him. Uh, he could do a lot of things. He plays with great energy. And when a big guy plays with that type of energy, it can be contagious. Um, you know, he's going against two experienced guys. You know, Jack Nungy on our end is a heck of a player. And, you know, I – I got to really commend Zach Fremantle, 14 points and 12 rebounds. Uh, those two guys both combined for 32. They had a good night. And uh, in the first half, we were better at getting the ball inside and scoring than we were in the second half. Sean, Wes said that you guys have a team that's very capable of winning the Big East. I'm sure you feel that way as well when you play at your best. What do games like tonight, especially in the second half, on the road, in this type of environment, prepare you for when you're looking ahead to the Big East? Yeah, I mean, number one, it always gives you confidence when you can win a close game, especially on the road, against a good team in this type of environment. No doubt, I think we leave here more confident as a group. But I'll tell you this, like, UC was 7 for 27 from the floor in the first half. In the second half, they were 20 for 32. Until we can sustain our defensive ability, you know, we're going to have certain leads that we lose. We can't be reliant only on our offense. And uh, that's how it felt in the second half. So it's a great opportunity to learn. I will say some of that is what I just addressed. We have to get more from our bench. And I do think we have a lot of players capable of giving us more.